We want to write the logarithmic equations as exponential equations. Looking at our notes here below, we have two equivalent equations, one as a log equation and one as an exponential equation. Where b is the base, a is the exponent, and n is the number. Remember, a logarithm is an exponent. Notice how this log is equal to a, in an exponential form, a is the exponent. Another nice way to remember how to write a log equation as an exponential equation is to start with the base, work your way around the equal sign to form the exponential equation. What I mean by that is we would have b raised to the power of a equals n. Let's take a look at our examples. We have log base x of z equals y, so our base is x, the exponent is y, the exponent is y, and the number is z. So x raised to the power of y must equal z. Again, x raised to the power of y must equal z. We have our base, we have our exponent, and we have our number. Now looking at the second example, we have log n equals p. There's no base given, therefore this is common log, meaning the base is 10. So we have our base, we have our exponent, and we have our number. So starting with the base, we have 10 raised to the power of p equals n. And again, we have 10, our base, raised to the power of p must equal n. Base, exponent, number. And for the last example, we have ln, which is natural log. So we have natural log m equals p. Natural log means the base is e, so we have our base, we have our exponent, and we have our number. So e raised to the power of p must equal m. Again, e raised to the power of p must equal m. Base, exponent, and finally the number. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.